Hello, welcome to this Control Web Panel tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss user limits in the CWP Admin Panel. There may be times that you need to impose specific user limits on specific users. To access user limits from the dashboard, go down to User Accounts in the sidebar, open the submenu, and click List Accounts. Find the specific user that you're looking for that you need to impose limits on, and then under the Actions column, click on Edit Account. Here we see the account details, and in the bottom half we see the limits, inode, process limit, and open files. Here we can see that this account's limit for inodes is only set to 90, so it's likely that this user is going to request us to increase their inode limit. Inodes are used by the file system to store data block locations and metadata. Because the inode size is relatively small and predictable, there usually is no problem with allowing unlimited inodes. However, if a user is filling up all available inodes, possibly even with zero byte file data, then you do have the ability to restrict their inode limit, forcing them to free up used inodes in order to create new ones. In this case, we can safely set the limit for zero to allow this user unlimited inodes. The next limit is process limit. This limits the number of processes for an account. In this case, we don't want to use zero, as that doesn't indicate unlimited, it would indicate zero processes allowed. This prevents the user from exceeding the limited number of PHP web processes. It's generally recommended to allow at least 30 to 50. However, using this limit is particularly good when using PHP CGI to prevent users with high traffic from overloading the server. The downside is that since this limit is user-wide, it can also have restrictions on IMAP connections if the number is set too low and the user has many IMAP connections. We can leave this set at 90. The next limit is open files. This limits the number of open files allowed for the account. By having an open files limit, this prevents users from having many open files. Having too many open files can cause slower server performance. Limits under 100 are not recommended as it can cause issues with other user services. With a limit of 150, this user should be fine. Once we've made our changes, be sure to click Update. And the user account has been successfully updated. We can also impose user limits when we're creating a new account. Under the User Account submenu, select New Account. And here in creating the new account details, you'll see the inode limit, the process limit, and the open files limit. The CWP defaults are usually best to be used in the case when everything is okay, but sometimes you'll have to have it increased or reduced by custom user app or resource requirements. And that's just a quick description of user limits in CWP. Thanks very much for watching.